Longtime guest STL Veg Girl has a new YouTube series called Plant Based Quick Cooking Show. Today, she's teaching us how to cook an artichoke. They can be pretty intimidating, but oh my gosh, are they so worth it. Hi, I'm Karen Dugan, coming to you today from the Center for Plant-Based Living here in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we're gonna learn how to cook an artichoke. I know that at least for me in the past, I have just bypassed them in the grocery store because they look pretty intimidating. Cute, but intimidating. So today, we're going to demystify it. Let's get started. You can eat more of the artichoke than actually you ever thought. That stem, even though I have a little nub today, usually they're about three inches long. Don't cut it off. It's very meaty, actually. What you wanna do is take a peeler and peel off that outer layer and then cut off just the very end and then score it. Just give it like an X with your knife, yeah? Okay, now we're just going to cut off probably about mm, a half inch or so of that top. And it's so pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. Now when you're picking artichokes, you wanna make sure that it almost looks a little heavier than it should, right? It shouldn't be really light. You want it to really have some oomph to it. You also want all the leaves to be nice and tight up against it. You don't want them flapping around. Um, and now we're also going to, you know, some people like to take their scissors and snip off the top parts of these leaves. I leave them, unless I'm stuffing the artichoke, I'm fine with just leaving those. So that's a step you really don't need to do if you don't want to. Now, just like an apple and an avocado, an artichoke will begin to oxidize pretty quickly. It'll start to become brown. So you, what, what you wanna do is take any kind of citrus, I usually use a lemon, and just give it, you know, just a little bit of that acid on there to stop that oxida oxidation. And also on the stem, don't forget your stem. Fill a pot of water um, all, almost all the way. So I know this looks like a, a big pot for just a little guy, but it's kind of um, awkward in size. And you wanna make sure that because we're boiling this, you see how um, closely or how much room we actually do need to submerge this guy in the water. So I have a big pot of water here. You can use a Dutch oven, whatever you have. Fill it with water, add a little salt, bring it to a boil, pop this guy in the water with the lemon. That just adds a little bit more flavor. It also helps with the oxidation or the anti-oxidation, if you will. Now I have one in here. I have a, a finished or a cooked artichoke in here. And you can see the difference in color now. You can see how it's a little bit more brown. Turn it upside down, get that water out of there. Have a bowl ready. You can just turn it upside down and let it cool out for a few minutes. There's not a whole lot in there. Most of it really does come out pretty quickly. And now you can start to even just pick off, start to pick off those leaves and pull off that meat, right? Now, you're gonna eat all of the meat on the bottom of those leaves. You're also going to cut off that stem if you wanted to. It's really easy now. You can eat that guy. Oh, after you, after you eat all of those leaves, or the meat on the leaves, we'll just do this right now. It's falling apart because it's very, very hot and very, very well cooked. Now, you're gonna see almost a furry part in here. That's the choke. Don't eat the choke. You'll choke. There's a reason it's called the choke. Don't eat the furry part. Eat the heart. That's what you want. The heart right below the furry part. You'll get there and it'll be delicious. That is how you cook an artichoke. You can see how, how easy it was. Oh, one more tip. When you put your artichoke in there, you want it to submerge in the water. Put your lid upside down and it'll keep everything down there for you. That's how, now 